There's something in the water. Hello, folks. Welcome back to my channel. This is Goosebumps Whole Boy 1982. And today I have another horror movie review for you for the summer. And today we're going to be looking at Piranha 3D. So I'm going to be quoting from Wikipedia starting right now. Piranha 3D is a 2010 American 3D horror comedy film that serves as a remake of the comedy film uh, of the comedy horror film Piranha 1978 and an entry in the Piranha film series. Directed by Alexander Aja and written by Pete Goldfinger and Josh Stolberg, the film stars Elizabeth Shue, Shue, Shue Adam Scott, Jerry O'Connell, Ving Rames, Jessica Soar, Stephen or or McQueen, Christopher Lloyd, and Richard Dreyfus. During spring break on Lake Victoria, a, pop a popular waterside resort, an underground tremor releases hundreds of pre prehistoric carniv carn carnivores, carnivores, carnivores piranhas into the lake. Local cop Judy Julie for for. Forrester, Forrester, Elizabeth Shue must join forces with a band of unlikely strangers, though they are ba ba though they are badly outnumbered, to destroy the ravenous, the ravenous creatures before everyone becomes fish food. Wow, sounds like a good premise, doesn't it? So, the reason why I'm reviewing this movie now is because we in the summer and it's um. Uh, Shark movie reviews from now on for a little while at least. There are many shark movies I would like to review. Now this one isn't really a shark movie. It's more like a piranha movie, but you get the drift. It's more like something about something underwater that is basically attacking swimmers. So, and even though it's, it takes place during spring break, I think it's a good summer movie. I mean, the movie itself was released in August 2010, so... I'm um, pretty sure that would be a nice fit for the for the review for the for the summer reviews. So, what do you think about this movie, Piranha 3D? So, I thought that was pretty good. I mean, it's not perfect in any shape or form. There are definitely a few things here and there I didn't really like. There's too much nudity in this movie, in my opinion. It kind of takes away from the movie's potential. But uh, the whole plot with the piranhas and the prehistoric you know, creatures that are lurking under the sea. I thought that was a pretty nice concept, and it's, it's kind of different from the from the typical shark, you know, like like sharks trying to eat swimmers. This, this time we have piranhas, so I thought it was pretty good. And uh, I didn't watch the original movie. I didn't even know that this one was a remake until recently, but... Maybe the the original movie was good too. I I couldn't tell because I haven't watched it yet. But yeah, let's move on to let's talk a little bit about the movie. So basically, the movie starts. But basically, yeah, the movie is set in Lake. I mean, the beginning is especially. I, I, I'm pretty sure the rest of the movie does as well. But it takes place in Lake Victoria, Lake Victoria, Arizona, and basically there's an earthquake. And what happens after that is the piranhas are going to emerge, right? Then basically the movie moves on to spring break. And we have our main character, <clears throat> Jake Forrester. And uh, <clears throat> he has a crush. Her name is Kelly. And basically she has a boyfriend who is kind of an arrogant jerk, pain in the neck. His name is Todd Dupree. And basically, yeah, he's kind of giving him hell a little bit. And... Uh, yeah, this is basically it, you know, how teenagers can be, right? I mean, especially when it comes to girlfriends and all that. And then after that, Jake is going to meet that guy named Derek Jones, who's basically a, a pornographer. Yeah, he he's into the porn industry and everything. That's disgusting. I agree. It's disgusting. And uh, one of his actresses is Danny... His, her name is Danny, and Derek would like Jake to basically to help him filming this pornographic movie. What the heck? And then uh, we introduce to Jake's mother, 
I mean, maybe a little before that. Her name is J Julie Forster. She's she's the sheriff, and she's pretty she's pretty nice. She's pretty cool, in my opinion. She's a good character, and basically, she's gonna be searching for Mad Boyd <clears throat> along with Deputy Fallon because Mad Boyd has gone missing, and they're gonna find his mutilated buddy soon afterwards, and uh, they would like to close down the lake, right, in order to protect swimmers from becoming the piranhas next sprays. But this is gonna be harder than it looks, than it sounds, because basically with all the partying college students that are that are going there for spring break and uh, all the money that is made in revenue, it's gonna be a big challenge because this town is not so big. So if they, if they were to do this, that would definitely be not a good move when it comes to money, right? But then after that, the next morning, there's another attack. And uh, this is how, you know, we <clears throat> we find out that there's a threat indeed. It's not just uh, an isolated event. It's really happening there. The piranhas are all over the place and they're attacking. <clears throat> also, Jake has two siblings, Shane and Laura. And basically, they're going to go canoeing at some point. And, uh, but, <clears throat> but the canoe wasn't properly secured. And, uh, yeah, something happens ap after that be because of that. And then, uh, <clears throat> not long after that, Jake is going to run to ke into Kelly. And, uh, he's going to basically accept Eric's invitation. And, uh, <clears throat> he's going to meet another actress of his. Her name is Crystal, as well as the cameraman named Andrew, and, uh, yeah, I don't really know what, what else to say about it, I don't want to spend too much time on it, but basically, soon afterward, some, uh, some, some divers, <clears throat> a team of divers <clears throat> named Novak, Sam, and Paula, and they're going to be basically investigating a little bit about, you know, this earthquake thing, I believe, and uh, basically, they're gonna they're gonna make an interesting discovery that has to do with a prehistoric lake. And uh, as Paula and Sam go scuba diving, they're gonna discover that big that big place that big cavern, and uh, it's uh, it's filled with piranha egg stocks. But then something happens soon afterwards, and. Uh, <clears throat> To cut to cut a to cut it short, soon afterwards they go, there's going to be a big attack on swimmers and uh everybody is there and the piranhas are starting to show up and it's looking pretty bad for all of them, right? So <clears throat> I think that's uh that's pretty much it really. I don't wanna spend too much time on this movie, but Piranha three D was a pretty nice movie as I mentioned. It had a lot of good things. I like a lot of actors and actresses. For example, Kelly Broke. <clears throat> she was pretty good. We have Elizabeth Shue. <clears throat> another good good one. Christopher Lloyd. <clears throat> and Scarlet Goodman. Jerry O'Connell. Esther Jones. Je Jessica. Yeah, yeah, sure. I already mentioned them before. Richard Trif Trifus. And so on. And we have Adam Scott. Yeah, basically, Jerry O'Connell was in Scream 2. And um, there's another actor. I don't know why I can't find him here. Yeah, Stephen R. McQueen. You probably know him from The Vampire Diaries. He was in The Vampire Diaries. He plays one of the main actor, one of the main characters. He's pretty good. But yeah, my favorite actors were him, his mother. And um, yeah, they were pretty good actors. And um, and his sister was nice too, yeah. But yeah, that was uh, his sister is played by Brooklyn Prowl, I believe. Laura Forster, yeah, that's her. <clears throat> so my favorite actors are Stephen R. McQueen, Brooke, Brooklyn Prowl, Adam Scott. So sorry, not Adam Scott, Elizabeth Shue. Shue. Kelly Brook also was pretty good. Jerry O'Connell from Scream 2. And uh, Je Je Jessica Shore. 
And there was another actress from Smallville, I am pretty sure. Yeah, Dana Mayer is here, apparently, who is in the Shell movies. I see it here, even though I don't really remember. But we have other actors, such as... <clears throat> yes, Kelly Brook was awesome in this movie. Yeah, so... I guess that's pretty much it for the actors. So, this movie was good. It's not perfect, but it definitely has some good scenes with the piranhas attacking and everything. And uh, the lead is pretty good. Like I said, the set of actors we have is pretty good. Stephen R. McQueen is our main character, really pulls his weight. So, I thought that was pretty good. So, if I were to rate this movie on a scale from 1 to 10, I think I would give it 7, seven out of 10. Wasn't so bad, not too shabby, pretty good. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. 7 out of 10 for this movie called Piranha 3D. What about you, folks? What do you think about this movie? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comment section down below. We'd really love to hear about your thoughts and views on this movie. In the meantime, folks, stay safe. Goodbye. Take care. And I'll see you in the next review soon for another horror movie review for the summer, God willing. In the meantime, take care. Goodbye. This is Goosebumps Horror Boy 1982 for you signing off.